Hey, what's up, y'all? This is the Will and Deshaun show, and I am Deshaun. And it's Will. So today, well, first, Will, how are you? I'm all right. So I got uh, a little small headache. But oh, why fine. you got a headache? You need I don't know. Advil or leave or something? Probably so. Oh, okay. Alcohol? That. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it is, it's Aaliyah Day. It's happy birthday, Aaliyah. And um, birthday. I believe her music will be all on all streaming platforms. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to check into that. Right. Like, we could probably check it right now. Let's see. But anyway, it's Aaliyah's birthday. She would have been 41 if she was still if she was still living. You know, R.I.P. to Aaliyah. Rest in peace. Unfortunately, she's not here with us. She would have been 41. She died when she was like 23. Tra- in a tragic plane crash after filming the Rock the Boat video. Yeah, I remember... When I heard about her dying, I was on my way to my friend's birthday party, and you know how they play, always be playing the artist's music or whatever, they play the music, Aaliyah's music, and they were saying, Sad, sadly, Aaliyah had passed, had, it was killed in a plane crash. And I was like, shocked. I was so distraught because Aaliyah is one of my favorite artists, you know? And I'm like, damn. And I was like, God, like, you know, when you think about like death, you don't want death to be in such a, you know, both people, you want to go peacefully, you know, right. in your sleep, you know, going on to wherever you're going to go if there is an afterlife. But to die, like, tragically, like, from people that, like, plane crashes or being killed, oh, that's sad. But anyway, this is about her birth and not her death. Right. So. Her uh, legacy. Her legacy still lives on because her music. I remember when she died, I just didn't believe it. I was like, really? She died? how she died? That's what I was thinking. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, when they said she was dead, I was like... In a plane crash? I was like, for real? Because like, you remember, that was back when people used to fake their death. <laughs> you remember people used to fake their death? Yeah. So I was like, is she dead for real? You do anything for publicity. Right. But, um, Even now. Right. But she did pass. And um, it was sad. Because, you know, she was just on the up and up. and She was becoming a superstar. Status. Right. Doing a lot of things and movies and stuff like that. And Speaking of movie, I had just watched Queen of the Damned. The other day on Netflix. I don't think I've ever seen that. You never seen it when she was a vampire? Uh, not a, not the whole thing. I think I saw clips. Oh, okay. You know yeah. I'm not a movie. Person. I mean, I had seen it when it came out. but uh, It's on Netflix? Oh, maybe I'll watch Netflix it later. It's on Netflix now. And I, hear, I was like, oh, Quinn the Dam's on here. And I ended up watching it. I was like, damn, Aaliyah. Right. And um, she was actually becoming a woman, too. So she was yeah, coming mature. To a woman she was coming that. into her own. <clears throat> so to see someone die so young like that. She was also coming into her artistry a lot better, too. Mm-hmm. Like, really coming into her artistry. She was right on that step. Right. The superstar step. Right. Like, she was a... She had became, like, a big star. But she was, like... She was about to break through. She was on the cusp of yeah. that big breakthrough. Yeah. So, um... Yeah. I like Aaliyah a lot. What's your favorite Aaliyah song? Um, ooh, I love, I have so many. Uh, I love Back and Forth. <laughs> I like um, At Your Best. I like Winning a Million. Um, I, I have a lot of Leah songs. Leah, one of them artists that when you remake her stuff, I'd be like, wait, 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 wait. Don't just be. Yeah, don't just yeah. be um, sit up here trying to. But you know, they did, but I will say that they will, her family has been very. Protective, right? Of Aaliyah's music. super protective, too protective. You think why too protective? Um, because I know these people out here. They will get your music and they will basically prostitute it and run it into the ground. Because you know everybody will try to do like a cover or a remake or a sample of it, and and it, it, it might not always be a hit. There's, not only a, there's very few artists who they actually let kind of like sample her music. Not only it not being a hit, but also it just being sometimes even if uh, you, you artist to, makes it a hit, it just cheapens it or dampens yeah, it. You want to don't want to water down the legacy, right? Exactly. So yeah, I get that, but um, it's hard to not do that when you have music, though. True, especially if you're a big artist, like someone's going to come along and want to do something. Absolute Drake. I love the Chris Brown and Aaliyah. Um, Chris Brown, that's my favorite. I don't like no one else's. No one else's. Tink did do a... uh, No one else's. (laughs) I guess that's what Timbaland actually owned. So he's the artist. Yeah. 
cool. Chris Brown was the only one who did her justice. Everybody else, I was like, okay. But um, yeah. But I I I do really like Aaliyah. I really do. I loved her style, how she danced. So do you like? Did you like Tomboy Aaliyah when she had the 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 bag over one eye, or you liked when she was like? I liked and, all of it. Like the whole evolution. I like the evolution of Aaliyah. And I do, um, of course, I like Tom Boy Aaliyah because that's who we first saw. And then I like, um, you know, woman Aaliyah, you know, when she was coming into her womanhood. So I do like that Aaliyah too. And um, it just sucks to see people die so early. Aaliyah has some amazing videos. They were really good. She had some. They were really ahead of their time. It was that, but you know, it was in an era. That video era. That video era where it really made the song. Like, it was just. I don't know. They were up ahead of the time. At the end, with the team, she was with Missy and Timbaland and them. So mm-hmm. they always just that whole camp is ahead of the time. Yeah, like I feel like they're geniuses when it comes down to music. Mm. Like Missy Timbaland, um, the other boy that died. Oh my God, Static. Oh yeah, Static Shop. Yeah, because he was wrote a lot of her uh, music, producer, writer music too. I feel like they were just so different and it's so futuristic like if you can look at um resolution mm-hmm. like then look at that video, really video look right? at uh more than a woman video like i love more than a woman too that's actually that's what about fa- that, that's one of my favorites resolution a four page letter um oh she has this song i forgot the name of the song it's not your best i like it's the a cover deep of cut on the one in a million album oh, I, that's a good album too I like the song she got with DMX. Oh, I love Back Romeo. Yeah, Back yeah, Romeo that's a good one with that too. soundtrack. Mm-hmm. So yeah, where do you think Aaliyah would be today? If I were to guess, um, Aaliyah probably would be uh, an actress. I think she'll be. I think she'll probably still be doing music too. Mm-hmm. But I think she probably would have been more of an actress because you know, Aaliyah was still out when people was buying actual. CDs mm-hmm. and it was right before the streaming stuff. So you know the streaming stuff kind of messed up a lot of our artists. Mm-hmm. Or I hate to say this, I don't want to say this to try to be negative. I would hope she would have not been a has been because I don't think she would. She have. still yeah. would have her like her. But you know, Aaliyah came out with like her Monica Brandy. Uh, so are those has beens to certain people? Yeah. Mm. To you. Oh no! <laughs> that's funny. You know, of course, that's my class of music. Right. You know what I'm saying? So no, they'll never be. They are icons to me. Right. They upon that icon status. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think they were. But you know, because the music industry is so fickle. Of course. You know, even though, like I said, we just use we'll use Brandy for instance, who had a little bit slight bigger thing than Monica, mm-hmm. should we say? Who I love. Yeah. Monica's fave. I, I, I love I love everyone. Monica's my sister. Okay. Uh, uh, uh good. But anyway, I have a special uh, thing with Monica. But Brandy had hits. She had a television show. She mm-hmm. was doing movies. So Brandy was like a bigger thing. Monica didn't really do a lot of um, acting. Acting. She mm-hmm. did like maybe a here and there stuff like that. But she didn't really wasn't into acting. Her main thing, even to now, has been like music. music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And because you know she was more. Because Brandy was more in an commercial, commercial, yeah, like, like crossover, this. right, right. Which Aaliyah also did the same thing. Well, Aaliyah started doing movies. She didn't necessarily do with like um, shows and stuff, TV, right. television shows. Um, but look how they treat Brandy now, though. Right, right. <laughs> Too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you know exactly what I'm mm-hmm. saying, right? Brandy was a big thing. Brandy's still iconic. Mm-hmm. Most definitely, absolutely, but, yeah. Times have changed. Absolutely, yeah. and, and and the people will say she's a has been. You know, everyone has the potential to be a has been. Yeah. So. Um, oh, you stop working. You're a has been. Right. And unfortunately, in the entertainment field, they don't. Even though I don't think any of these people are has been. Oh, absolutely not. Right. In the entertainment field, we don't blacks. We have to make we have to make this the blacks. <laughs> we don't we don't really honor too many people that has what that has been has came in the game. Like even though Missy, we love Missy down. Mm-hmm. People ain't running about no Missy album and Missy music like that. Do people you, of our era is. 
But you don't think Missy gets the credit she deserves? Absolutely not. I still. She just got a video of Angar. Out of out of a million years, she should have already had one. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I agree. Like that's the same thing with how maybe Aaliyah would have turned out. Right. Because she might have. You know, everybody have their time when they hot. Do you think it's a matter of people being more consistent with their music? Because yep. I feel like the people who so you cannot take a break. Yeah. I feel like the people who are the biggest names now never took breaks, yep. <laughs> like or just now taking a break. They like the two, never, the two ever. main black girls who out out here. Who, they ain't took they, no breaks, none ever, none. Okay, that's why they still big. As yeah. soon as you take a break, you're gonna fall off. People act like yeah, mm, that's sad. It is, yeah. and, or you start, or if you start putting that music. Not of the same quality or better. Like, will you, Mariah? Mariah was really big in the nineties. Then Mariah had a resurgence. Mm-hmm. But then Mariah put out also music after her resurgence that didn't do that well. Mm-hmm. You know, she did just get a number one. She's still iconic and legendary mm-hmm. by getting a number one. Right. You know, single right with her "All I Want for Christmas," which was a twenty-year-old song. I think everyone has their time. Absolutely, you know, and, and your time will pass. Yeah, and and to go back to Aaliyah, right. That could have very well been her fate as well. And to go back to Aaliyah, sometimes your time passed before your time. Like, sometimes your time ends early. Ooh. So, you know, that's sad. That I mean, at least she still had... At least she still has a legacy, yeah. Absolutely. She yeah. still has a big fan base. Okay, this is the the big debate that people like to say all the time. What? If Aaliyah was alive, would Beyonce have her the career that she would have? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I feel like it. I feel like a world could coexist with the Beyonce and Aaliyah. I feel like they both could be big. Cause the yeah. What's wrong with that? I don't know. Why is it? Where? where you know I don't what? even think they're in the same lane. Their music's really different too. To be Absolutely. Honest. Yeah. And the looking at. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was a bad actress. So that's not me. That's not you know. But um. Shame. Yeah. Do you think that Aaliyah per se? Would have maybe given up music totally for act to become an actor. Um, probably not in that particular time where she's passed, but I think she's getting ready to do the Matrix, so she, she was, was about to she be had actually filmed some scenes yeah. before she had passed. But um, I feel like Aaliyah was about to come into a part of her music that would have been really good for her. Okay. I think she was really just starting to find her voice musically, and it was a really pretty alto voice. It was a good voice. Mm-hmm. Because Aaliyah didn't always have a strong voice. And I think she was really starting to come into her own vocally. Oh, she definitely came into the artist. Right. She was, a, she was coming into her artistry. So I, I think Aaliyah could have put out a masterpiece album. I think she had the potential to put out a really good album. That's why I did back then. Music was still good too. Right, exactly. And they put time and everybody was putting time in the music, like the producers, the artists, the songwriters. Because now you know it's different. Now the music of of after Aaliyah and even in, even in the early two past the early two thousands, you know the lead, the music started to because of the shift change in the industry or the record industry or whatever. The music quality ain't that great no more. Do you think artists like Rihanna, Sierra, do you think they came about because of the lack of an Aaliyah? Mm. I would say, I don't want to say yes. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to say no. Mm -hmm. Like you'll never know. You never know. Because at the end of the day, everybody from... Beyonce on Rihanna, all, Sierra, all these people are eating off somebody else's uh, blueprint. Absolutely, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. there had to be a Janet before it was them. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the blueprint that was carved out for Janet Jackson and the girls before them mm-hmm. was used for them. Right. And it worked for them. The thing is, they also, we'll, speaking of Sierra, even though for us, Sierra's the Trinity. Right. But not for. The Someone's ten years y- younger than us. Not right? even that. Some, 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 sometimes. Oh, people, some of us. Some of us. <laughs> right. Because if they feel like Sierra has not put out strong music, right. Even though the body of work may be good, right. But they feel like it has not been strong, like from after what was their evolution? evolution. Yeah. You know, so after that, things kind of like trickle down for her. Even right. though she's winning in the 
many other ways. Right, right. I liked her last album. I liked it too, but it just didn't. It didn't get. Well, you know, also the independent route. You know, it's a different route. It's a different route. Yeah, and not everybody still have that that backing. And not everyone understands that. Yeah, because what? Because what if Aaliyah also would have burned out of her contract? And now she would have maybe have been independent. And you know, in this industry, it's just no telling what could have happened. Yeah. <laughs> no telling. She like, if you go left and didn't go right, that could have just changed your whole life. Let me say this. And this I know this is, going, this is just me being funny because she could have ended up on Love and Hip Hop. I'm just being funny. Whoa, that's. I'm just being funny. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I'm just being funny. But, you know, a lot of the artists could have. I don't think anyone of Aaliyah's caliber is on Love and Hip Hop. That once had a career like in the Leah is there. No, but I'm just saying. Right. You know, because reality TV route could have also could have helped her. Not in a love and hip hop way, but having her own. It's show. a lot of hypothetical situations. Yes. Yeah. So like I said, we don't we really don't know. I think I'm just optimistic, still, so I like to see the best. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. She still could have been great. Right. Or she could have fell off. Yeah. And that's anybody. Because, you know, they trying to raise up these new crop of girls who ain't got it. They got the funding. That's it. But they ain't. But they ain't got. They ain't got it. Right. Right. Look at these new crop of girls. Where none of them ain't. None of them had have the strong impact, even with the machine behind them, as the girls that be gone before them, like the Aaliyah, the Monica, the Brandy, the Beyonce, the Rihanna, the Sierra. I think the people who are making the who are choosing people don't have it. Wow. So that's something. I kind of ran into, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like a lot of people don't know what music is and they're in these positions. They don't know what good music is. They don't have a strong ear. Okay. And a lot of these A&Rs, first of all, that department is cut in half already. But um, I feel like a lot of people who are making the, the choices and the gatekeepers don't have it and don't know what it is. They don't even know what they're looking for. I feel like, you know, everything's so microwave and attention Ooh. spans are so short that people just looking for the next big chat. No artist development at all. Oh my God. There's so many artists who have come out in the last five years who ain't even big no more. If you think about it, especially rappers, they just be throwing rappers in and out. Like, they like pop them. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's it's very trendy. Yeah. Uh, music has always had trends, mm-hmm. but this trend be like you said, these the trends, trends are way faster. So they like they every get, year is every six months. <laughs> it's a for real, I was gonna, I was gonna give them at least three years right. to the next big person because they do be popping out these people like that. Mm-hmm. So again, like I said, so we don't know where she would have ended up. Now, do you think Aaliyah Dai had anything to do with any conspiracy? Of course, there's so many conspiracies mm-hmm. around surrounding her death. Again, they said she wanted to get out of the Illuminati. And they killed her. Um, they say Beyonce killed her. Uh, <laughs> That's just not fair to Beyonce. They said, you know, it was just so many different rumors. Because they was like, why? But I was like, the people that, the, everybody else on that plane died too. Like, Well, they yeah. had to die too. To make the whole story complete. Right. right. What do you think, what do you think about these whole um, Illuminati, quote unquote, uh, conspiracy theories? Do you think they're somewhat based in truth? Or is there something that's been some rumors that's been spilt out so much that we did people just believe it at this point? Um, I think when it comes to Illuminati, there's there's a secret society in the entertainment industry. Now I don't that secret society doesn't necessarily mean that babies are being killed and people are being sacrificed, this, that, the other. I don't know. I'm not in that society. Right. But I think it definitely means that business deals are being made behind the scenes you know certain people are looking out for certain people networking i think clicks i think that's true okay but when you get to the whole rituals and sacrifices and stuff i don't know how true that is again i'm not in that because i always feel as well too it's like how do they let these people go on and live their life and have children and all this other stuff because you know the you know, the people say so many things that you have, or somebody in your family had to die, or they had to kill somebody for mm-hmm. for you to be big and stuff like that. I mean, it's plausible when you think about some of these artists. You be like, "Oh, they did die, then they did get big." You know what I'm saying? So you you, you kind of think about stuff like that. And I was like, "But 
it's just one of those things. I was like, man, how did they let these people go on and live like these quote unquote happy lives and have kids and all this other stuff, knowing that they quote unquote gonna have to die soon? Right. So I don't know. I, I don't. I don't believe it in that that part as well. Mm-hmm. As far as a ritual thing, I can't. I'm not in around. I'm right. not around. Mm-hmm. I'm. I can't debunk. It. I cannot neither confirm nor deny if that's true. Right. I don't personally think it's true. I don't really think it's true. Not to say that stuff never like that probably may and may never never happen. But I'm do, I'm like with you. I feel like in the entertainment industry, it's about politics and about money. Mm-hmm. And like you said, it's more so business deals and contracts. Yeah. Like these people be think about like Rihanna for instance. Rihanna probably like we don't know how many Rihanna when Rihanna got big. Rihanna was burned through them fucking albums. We was getting like two albums a year from Rihanna. Mm-hmm. So again, she's probably putting up all that music so she can get out of her contract. Yeah. So that contract can be done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. I think it's that. It's a lot of you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Absolutely. Like, because at the end of the day, it, what we to learn about the music industry mm-hmm. is that basically they loan you this money mm-hmm. and that you have to pay it back. Right. So we're gonna make we're gonna make you a big star because we need a, a return on our investment. Mm-hmm. Shit is just like the banks. <laughs> Honestly. That's all it is. How do you think Aaliyah would have dealt with the R. Kelly situation? Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's, Fred, big, right? that's a right, especially because R. Kelly is not out. If she was still alive, would she would have told her story? Right. Wow. Mm-hmm. She might have. Mm-hmm. Cause towards the end of her career, she distanced herself from him. Oh yeah, she was way past. Yeah, she was she was way, way gone. gone. Right. You, yeah, she was way past R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Wow, what she would have told her story versus people still trying to tell her story. Mm-hmm. You know what? We don't know. We don't. Because like it, she was so young. Well, all the girls are mess with when no, young. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> That's how he <laughs> like them. But um, there's so, a difference between a 15 year old and a 40 year old. So what she probably would have told, been a part of the documentary and all of that stuff. Aaliyah had a lot of rumors and conspiracies going on about her. From the R. Kelly to the Jay Z to it was just a lot. But they said she, yeah. We anyway, we know. But anyway, um, rumors are rumors. But R. Kelly's I, not a rumor. Oh no, that's the truth. Yeah. Th- those facts. Yeah. Um, I want to say, I would hope that she would have, mm-hmm. if he actually did. Well, shit, they did get married when she was fifteen. Mm-hmm. Well, so yeah, that is true, but. Shit, that's legal document. It's legal papers to say that. Remember when that came out? Before, now this was way before blogs and all this stuff that's out now. And uh, and that's you know that was a big rumor that went around the world for a while. Be- there was t- you know there's two big rumors that to this day that we never knew was the truth. Well, we know they are true now, but way before blogs and way before the internet, really. So it's like, how do we even learn this stuff? What's those two big rumors? The one was, well, of course, was R. Kelly had married Aaliyah. Mm-hmm. And the other one was that Brandy and Monica fought at that concert. And they really did fight. And they really did fight, and according third, to Dallas Austin. And the third one is Janet having that baby. And, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, we they don't say, know if Janet they had They say no. Janet Jackson got a secret baby. And that girl, that, wait, that baby would be like 30 years they old. They say now. that, right. With another daughter, that's y'all like, way doing old, older than 30. Mm-hmm. Um, and they say that, because actually, because Reba got a daughter that looked like Janet. And they say that's Janet's daughter. Yeah, I mean, strong genes. But yeah, those those are the three. Uh, well, three two of the rumors we know are had would come out to find out to be true. Now the Janet, now she does have her own actual biological child now, but that we don't know if that rumor to be true. Right. But but I digress. Right. But yeah. Um. I, I back to the Aaliyah thing and with R. Kelly. I would hope that she would have. Mm-hmm. You know that would have really probably freed her. But again, it depends on how big of an artist if she was still really super big Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day if she was still alive people would still want to know her side of the story and at the end of the day i mean it wouldn't have hurted her i think that's more personal yeah yeah it is a very personal decision that's why i said i would hope that she would have but at the end of that that could go either way Mm -hmm. that can go yes she probably would have said something or maybe not maybe she probably would have keep that part of her life you know right diminished right right Mm -hmm. But yeah, rest in peace, Aaliyah. You have anything else you want to say? I feel like we covered. Let's see if her actual her music is going to be getting streamed. I just checked. I don't see it on there. Oh, uh, well, Barry Hankerson, you're lying. 
Why would they say that? He the one said. So the he rumors said- come out like every so often that Leah music. No, he said like, that. Oh. Now this was this wasn't a rumor. This is something that he put out. Maybe it has. It's not pulling up yet. You know, sometimes it take a while for your stuff to like pull up. According to the you and the internet, it ain't happening. Mm-hmm. It didn't take a while for um, Beyonce album to pull up. What she did, that's a surprise drop. It pulled right on up. Everybody knew it. 5.2 seconds. Instantly. <laughs> Absolutely. It's they like, was waiting for it. Why they was waiting for you know, it when people, they didn't know about it? I don't you know, know, but they were just waiting for it. Like, the b half was like, I feel like they do that. Happened. They still do that now. <laughs> like, I feel Because they like, say every time Beyonce had braids and she had that laptop with her, it's a music for to come out. <laughs> I can't. That's funny. We're not going to turn this to a Beyonce thing. We talk about Aaliyah. But as of now, Aaliyah music has not come out. Um, Aaliyah was a great artist. She made a very impact on my life. Um, I really like her music. I still, once it be able to stream don't get me wrong you still can buy it now we still can buy her music for those who be like who wait her music to be streamed you still can buy it you still can her music is still for purchase you just can't stream it but as soon as it come out i'm definitely going to stream it get my life and get my nostalgia from it absolutely so make sure y'all subscribe tell us about your Aaliyah um favorites what's your favorite Aaliyah song what you got to say about Aaliyah anything Aaliyah have you ever met Aaliyah right oh yeah that would be a good one or have anyone you got with her gravesite her uh, memorial also how how do you think Aaliyah would um stand today where do you think she would be far as comparing her to other artists where would her career be what would would Aaliyah be like today right what would she might have a talk show yeah (laughs) absolutely you never have talk shows might have a talk show welcome to Aaliyah Aaliyah. <laughs> Daytime right. talk with Aaliyah. Right. She might be on the real or something. I don't know. No. no. She have her own show. No. Okay. Not on the real. She's not going to do it. No. Okay. She ain't that low. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.